The mind of Christ can be received through prayers. Through prayers. But I want to talk about prayers in such a sense that we don't take it loosely because the word prayer has been so loosely used nowadays. It got to be deep prayers. Deep in the spirit, not emotions. And then it got to be word based. People are praying without the word nowadays. People are just praying with their emotions, with their needs, no. Now listen. Listen, okay? If you people, now, if we are operating out of our own ideals, our own needs, people were doing that, I realize, if God answers their prayer, thank God. If God doesn't answer, they lament. They lament. Or if not, if God still don't answer, I keep on praying the same thing over and over again. But when you do that, people who do that, it means that their mind doesn't change at all. They're still one-minded, self-minded. They don't change their prayer. Understand? So they don't get the mind of Christ. Now, do we have our needs? Yes. Am I right? We have our troubles. We have our shortfalls, our needs. Yeah, we have. So let's say if you have a need. You bring your need. You come before God with your need and the word. Understand? You come before God with your need and the word. And then, with these two things, you ask from God. You lay bare your needs to Him. And let Him convict you, work through you, and show you His grace. If God, through your, through your prayers, answer you, thank God. If God, you have been praying for long enough and God doesn't answer your needs, like Paul, he has a thorn in his life, God doesn't answer it, okay? So you must change your prayer. Meaning you change your mind to understand why he doesn't answer you the way that you are asking. You understand that? Change your mind. That is the time you change your mind and that you will receive the mind of Christ. Understand? You will receive a pure mind. You understand? Oh, Lord, I understand what I'm asking probably is more out of my own motive or it doesn't benefit me, but I just refuse to listen. No, so you change your mind. That is the time. If God doesn't answer you, it's all right to have a need and bring it to God with the word. And if God doesn't answer you, change your prayer, change your mind to be in sync with the word. And that is the time God will work powerfully upon you through the Holy Spirit. And if you don't change your mind, it's the, the way you approach your God, the way you pray. Uh, each time you have a need, you come before God. You don't, or don't, you don't even pray. Or each time you come before God, you're always praying the same thing. You don't change your mind. Then the Christ-mindedness will not happen upon you. You see, that's the thing. Okay, so I realize we have to pray. But what kind of prayer? And so if God doesn't answer, so through the word, I confirm again. Through the word, that he loves me, he's with me, okay? Apart from my problems, apart from my troubles or my need. I test again, Lord, is this what you want? Through the word. And I approve, Lord, is this your will? Through the word, okay? And I reflect, Lord, why is it this happened to me? I reflect through the word. And then I rely upon the word with whatever outcomes that God has given me. Now, this is the time where a lot of breaking down, a lot of demolishing and rebuilding happen in your lives. This is the time God demolish your own mindset and build the right mindset of Christ in you. Now, prayer. Listen up, prayer. I'm talking about here. 